So hi guys, welcome to Film Companion South. Hi, hi, hi. Hi Vishal, I'll do the talking today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling mid. I'm feeling okay. Okay, but no, like, uh, what was your reaction? Like, what what was the headspace like as you walked out of the theater? Waliban, Malay Kote Waliban. No, actually, I was kind of uh, prepared for this uh, uh, as somebody who's followed uh, Lee Jo's career from his first movie. This is exactly, you don't come in with any expectations. You come in with a very open mind and that's how I kind of uh, walked into the theatre. And I think to some extent, I think I've left the theatre also with an open mind. Open mind? I mean, like, were you like, were you satisfied? I was not satisfied. I, it would be unfair to say I was completely satisfied. But again, I think nobody really expected it to be a, a completely accessible, completely enjoyable entertainment movie. Hmm. So I, at, at least the Malayali crowd probably came in with a certain amount of reservations. And it was a little bit, it's not at all an accessible movie. It's a little bit of a challenging movie. To be very honest, I didn't, okay, okay. At least from the surface level, I know that once the film hits streaming services, the people will start taking screenshots and they'll you know start noticing all the details and okay they'll draw theories and all that's that's inevitable that's gonna happen but compared to something like an anpagal nehratu mayakam i felt this was pretty accessible only yeah that it is and uh, uh, again like you know he's the guy who said he, uh, right after the failure of double barrel i remember a facebook post that kind of said that he's never going to change for people yeah. and it's kind of ballsy that he's made a movie with the biggest superstar in malayalam yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's not really changed himself i don't think there's any major compromises mm. he had a story about a wrestler and he's gone ahead and made it mm. and uh, i give him credit for that okay now this is something i have to ask you usually all our reviews you are the one who is super excited and super motivated after the review this is that one time where it seems that i'm i've enjoyed the movie far more than you did so yeah so the, the thing for me was it was what do you call i know that it's a very original film it's a very weird film it's a, it's a film that wears its its weirdness on its sleeve but again we i always keep reiterating this that we are a second half audience that when we walk out of the theater all we remember is that the impact of the climax so in that sense i was pretty disappointed with the way the film turned out to be in the second half even though there are many portions that in the film that i enjoyed there are like the action choreography was i think it was done very well uh, the visuals it, it, there are some great visuals the music was 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 amazing but as a whole if you ask me as i walked out of the theater i felt i felt a bit cheated i mean like see i i'm not i haven't seen every ljp film like i have seen only mn uh, jallikatt uh, churli and of, of course nanpagal nerath mayakam i the ending to me was a very big bummer because this is not what i expected when at least i wanted some level of closure right that i felt very cheated so that's why i'm not able to you know acknowledge some of the brighter parts of the film mm. because the ending was you know it left me in a very it was a very bitter aftertaste mm. now for me personally the the main issue that i have uh, with this movie is how uh, of course he's made double barrel which i didn't connect to at all then i still don't connect with that movie at all it was it was an exercise in stylistics nothing more than that uh, but this is a movie which i feel is uh because ljp has evolved and he's become a very superior director right mm. so there are parts of the of the movie which has some kind of a philosophical uh you know it, it's it's trying something philosophical it's trying to do something more but there are also about 25 30 minutes stretches in the middle that's that's not really ambitious it's only trying to do uh, a lot of action or you know to make one particular point about the hero character mm. so i was finding i was getting engaged when it's when it's got layers when it's trying something complicated mm. and i'm getting super disengaged when there is like a an item song or you know whatever you want to call it i mean yeah, it's not yeah. probably fair to call it an item song but then those big 20 minute distractions in the middle see again that's where i, I i'm confused because i have an issue with the structuring of the film but again i completely understand what the filmmaker is going for but it's not landing like when you say that the film is complicated or 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 philosophical i understand that there is a philosophy in the film hmm. but is it hitting me that that's what uh, i have uh, that's where i have an issue with see we know that it's it's not that big of a spoiler to say hmm. that 
the film is structured in a way where he has to go from one mission to the other mm. and the mission the, the the difficulty of the mission keeps increasing as the screenplay progresses then we get an interval point which at least the way it is presented it looks like it's it has set a stage for a massive second half mm. but then 30 minutes into the second half we learn that it's a deception and the film it had it has something else to do after that big mm. big big action sequence in the second half my issue starts with starts after that mm. on a philosophical level i don't have any problem with it and maybe my my opinion might change after a second view i get the fact that okay you are a warrior you are you have accomplished everything in the world and then a challenge arises for you mm. i i understand that philosophy or maybe that's what i interpreted lejo might have uh, he might have you know thought it in a different way but that's what i interpreted but what is it culminating in is my question okay uh, 45 minutes of the second half where you are setting up something new where you are setting mm. up a new conflict what is it ending in Hmm. It's no, a, I, I have a mild disagreement with you in this hmm. case. I understand the structure that you're talking about is uh, the structure of a conventional movie that follows hmm. this rule. Hmm. 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 You know, a, a wrestler who has no home uh, goes from mission to mission, yeah. and then it culminates in a fight that is bigger than he is. Hmm. But I think this is the opposite of that movie. I think this is a movie where this guy has won everything. He has. He is so powerful that he can destroy armies. He, yeah. Like like they say in the movie, he can take on five hundred horses. Yeah. I mean five hundred elephants. But at oh, a elephant. point, he realizes that his life is hollow. Hmm. So it's about a hero who has no equals, and it's not a great life. It's the it's the life of a person who is so powerful that his life is pointless. Yeah. So I think in that, and that's the movie that that's what I think the movie is trying to say. Also, you know, if you're such a big hero, almost in a meta level, where if you're a superstar, hmm. you are stuck in the same role to oh. such an like, such a large extent that you can never break out of that. Hmm. Your image becomes your enemy, hmm. and I think that's what the film is also trying to say at that seventy fifth uh, point. Let's say the film is hundred percent at the seventy fifth percent mark. Hmm. He's already freed his Not people. Not even seventy fifth mark. I mean, like. 60 even earlier yeah. yeah so he's already defeated all the uh, villains his, his biggest defeated, enemy yeah. his big, he's freed his people yeah. he's so, got no opponents left in the world except himself yeah so i thought on a philosophical core i am really enjoyed that i agree with that i agree i completely agree and i i really appreciate that also yeah be it from a meta perspective or from purely uh, you know what Cinema, do you call this it? tale for this tale, tale yeah. where you are your biggest enemy but what is it ending in Yeah, my my disappointment arises from the fact that you didn't do anything with that. Yeah, at the end you you didn't give me anything. But I I I don't know. That's exactly what I don't really. Again, I am forced to think that it's not really uh, leading up to something. I think the point is where do you think? Like you imagine, like mm. uh, whatever you have seen so far is a lie. What you are going to see is the truth. So you imagine whatever you want to imagine. I think it, it the thing is yeah, when you say something stay a statement yeah, as broad yeah. as that yeah. you can go about yeah, I mean, like, so I can I can if I, if I want I can tell you I didn't watch a movie today no, I can reminds, tell you that also this reminds me of October 19th this <laughs> yeah. reminds me of you know, Leo okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay you yeah, if you want to defend the film you can defend the film and it's completely okay but yeah. personally was I satisfied with a few creative choices in the film I wasn't the ending it pissed me off okay maybe Okay, now that inner Telugu guy is coming out. <laughs> At least we, when we met Sala, we didn't abruptly end the film and say that watch it in the next part. We were prepared. For, we prepared you for a cliffhanger and all. But when, come on, Lejo is our master of abrupt endings, so he can. Yeah, I yeah. Again, not not a very accurate. Okay, tell me what things you like. Tell yeah. me what things. Cinematography, like. cinematography, the music. Uh, see, I loved how much detailing went into. you know composing each frame there are so many again it's a very lijo thing there are so many images in the film where you are expected to observe every corner of the frame okay you get what i'm saying right yeah. there is an action happening in the left side there is another character doing something else in the yeah. right side yeah. so it it felt it's it felt very rewarding uh, and my i mean like i really liked that at at one crucial point uh, after you know that that 60th percent mark where mm. the story takes a different direction mm. there is a scene where mohanlal and harish peredi are talking and it's it's a night scene it's it's a, it's a two minute single stretch conversation shot in wide angle 
so many starting wide angles here and then there is there is a moon hmm. in the right corner and hmm. it's it's a vfx it's it's a vfx moon hmm. but you can see that lijo put in the effort to ensure the movement of the moon okay huh. so it exits the frame as yeah. the scene progresses as time passes so i like many moments like yeah, that you can yeah. see that it's not at all a low effort movie yeah. so much painstaking detail has been poured into you know creating those visuals hmm. and uh, we have to give uh, credit to of course yeah he can do that, on that. Yeah, yeah he's a he's a master at those kind of things like yeah. that that shot where you know you kind of frame mohanlal's face and you know and uh, usually there are these shots in these movies where like a guru or a senior kind of holds their uh, their what is it the students face like this right mm-hmm. there's a beautiful shot in this that that's created that creates the same effect of a master or a yeah. guru taking on the student but using a uh, using a handicapped man's feet yeah and yeah. i have never seen a shot like that yeah. you know it's almost like he's holding mohanlal's face even though he can't move leg. with his uh, with his feet yeah yeah, yeah. similar again uh, what i really enjoyed about that whole foreign portion no that type portion of course the imagery comes from what arya looks like in double barrel to to an extent mm-hmm. but uh, if you see how uh, constantly in that movie it's of course the portion where it goes into that whole freeing of the slaves chapter mm-hmm. but until you are at that level where uh, the fight has hasn't begun or they're starting to fight you there's not even a single shot where the camera is kept at the same level of the of the britishers mm-hmm. or the foreigners yeah, you yeah, only yeah. have to look, look up at them yeah yeah look up yeah. and then there is a fight where they come to the same level and the fight culminates in a place where the slaves are above the, the are masters above. yeah 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 love so that moment yeah, they, yeah. these are all lovely yeah, this, is, this is amazing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so there are yeah. lovely things that lijo does because that's what lijo is you mm-hmm. know so of course so many things and of course that whole spartacus tribute tribute i mean Spike, huh? yeah that take that whole jail portion mm. and it's like an entire right and uh, it's done so nicely you know so yeah there are 100 things like this which you love about that movie but and we we, are, we, we will discover more yeah. during rewatches yeah. yeah correct which is what i don't i mean jellicutter again works in this abstract zone mm. but the energy of the movie is such that it's consistent yeah, yeah. here there are entire 20 minute portions where coming out of the movie then it, the movie has to do something really amazing for you to get you get back your into attention the back movie. yeah but overall for me it was it was a mixed experience it's a movie i'm really curious to watch again same. and same uh, same same i love it you know i love the fact that it's about a tragic giant you know a guy who's so much bigger than everybody yeah. else in his world but, but he's still but his life is yeah, a tragedy yeah yeah so uh, final thoughts Final thoughts? Yeah, I mean, see, as a Telugu movie fan, I'm no, not as a Telugu movie. Okay, fan. okay, as a Lijo fan, as a film lover, okay, uh. I'm disappointed, mm. but I'm, I want to watch the film again. Yeah, I'm curious to watch the film again to, uh, you know, read all those theories that will be cropping up uh, yeah. online. Again, this 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 opinion is obviously subject to mm. change. At this moment, I was, I'm pissed off. Okay. Okay so we'll watch the movie again and yeah, do a second yeah, review. Yeah. yeah yeah okay great great great. Okay okay thanks guys thanks for watching you watch Malaikotai Valiban and make up your own opinion. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching.